City of South Jordan has filed a legal complaint uh, attempting to demolish and burn a house where the owner allegedly made chemical bombs. Now there are several questions because both the property and those allegations are potentially explosive. 43 year old Ryan Lynn McManigal allegedly shot at officers early in the morning of July 24th, 2020. And after his arrest, the bomb squad found more than Pioneer Day fireworks in the home at 3371 West Snow Moon Place. They claim he was manufacturing bombs with an explosive called triacetone triperoxide, which may still be present in the structure. By reputation, he was sort of a wackadoodle. Now incarcerated on a list of charges, including attempted murder, McManigle and his mortgage company are defendants in a lawsuit filed Tuesday, which refers to explosions on July 24th and again on Halloween when a man doing construction was injured by a blast. The complaint claims walking on the floor, as one victim already found out, could cause an explosion. Conducting any sort of repair or demolition inside the house could set off the dangerous chemical. Even putting a nail in the wall in the wrong place to hang a picture could be deadly. It also claims the McManigal house is and will remain a literal minefield until the structure is demolished. Today, I asked South Jordan City spokesperson Rachel Van Cleve why a home so dangerous has been allowed to stand for seven months. It just took that long, a lot of back and forth with the mortgage company. We don't own the house and so don't have permission as of now to mitigate it ourselves. The city seeks to demo the house, but how can that be done safely with neighbors and several businesses nearby? The basic plan at this point is to collapse the house, taking down the walls, the roof, etc., burning it out to get rid of any possible materials left in there, and then removing all of those materials from the property. And what is the city telling those nearby residents and business owners? We know that this has been a nuisance. You know, the peace of mind of our residents is extremely important. We don't want them just to be safe. We want them to feel safe. And we know that as long as that house is there, they don't feel safe. That's why we want to get rid of it and demolish that house as soon as possible. South Jordan City attorneys hope for a quick response from the defendants. Meanwhile, one neighbor I spoke to put it succinctly, telling me, tear that thing down.